from San Francisco. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube, covering Mimble Storage, the power of predictive analytics. Now your hosts, Jeff Frick and Stu Miniman. Welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are live in downtown San Francisco at the Nimble Storage Predictive Flash launch event. Uh, there's a lot of people here, a couple hundred people, press from all over the world. That's all good and dandy, but what we love to do when we go out to events is talk to customers, practitioners, doers, as we like to say. They're actually putting this technology to work that are actually solving real problems and, and don't do tech as a day job. It really supports what they do in their core business. So we're really excited to have Will yeah. Alexander, VP Information Systems from Racetrack yes. Petroleum. Welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. So for the folks that don't know Racetrack, give us a quick overview, what's the company? Yeah, sure, so we are a uh, fuel and convenience retailer located in the southeast. We have about 700 locations. We've been around for a little over 80 years, third generation privately held company, second largest private company in Georgia, uh, one of the, the top 50 largest private companies in the United States. And, um, you know, we, we operate on, on high volumes and, and, and thin margins. Um, so, so, Will, you know, yeah. high volume, low margins. Yes. What's the role of IT in the business? So, um, we have to keep the business going. We have to be an enabler. We are, we're in a commodity business. So, and again, high volume. So, any little advantage that we can give them. Uh, uh, when we talk about what a penny uh, to a gallon of gas does, when you talk about the volumes that we do, it can have a huge impact. So giving them timely data and accurate data so they can make better decisions, that, that's what it's all about for us. So has that evolved over time? I mean, we, we hear a lot of times where, yeah. you know, the classic IT, right, keep the lights on and now, now everybody's yeah. got a seat at the table. Sure. Is it, has it evolved? Have you always it, had that seat at the table or has kind of your voice um, or your impact, your influence, direction kind of changed? I'd like to think that we've always had that, that seat at the table, um, but yes, over time, the business has really come to acknowledge that they need us at the table, um, so they're welcoming us. It's not us trying to break down the door, it's them saying, hey, we need you. If we're going to be successful, you've got to be successful. So can you sketch out for a little bit, what's the size of your IT organization? Sure. You know, how many sites you manage, things like that? Yeah, so, so again, we have about 700 locations, our IT staff is just over 100 people, and that includes all the application teams, developers, all the infrastructure teams, all the support teams, tech support, um, store system support, as well as IT security. So we, we've, I tell you that we've doubled in the last five years. So, and that's a testament to the company growing, as well as the company understanding that, hey, IT has to play a predominant role um, if we're going to be successful. All right, so, you know, growth, that, that's great to hear, because yes. most companies you talk to, head counts, you know, you're lucky if it's flat, if not, right. you know, negative on there. Um, talk a little bit about, you know, the, the role of infrastructure, what let you to nimble? Sure, sure, so, you know, security is important to everybody. I mean, that, that's a given. Retailers in general, very important. And we had the opportunity to obtain a, a security application that was really complemented our existing security portfolio. And as we were talking to the, to the vendor, they said, hey, here's the, the specs on what you need to run our, our application on. And we looked at it and we were like, yeah, um, okay, we can't, we can't do that. Um, but it was, it was so important to us that we said, you know what, let's take this as an opportunity to go upgrade our infrastructure. Was it the size, the speed? The, the, what were some of the, the factors where you, the, you know, the it was IOPS. taking you to we, we couldn't, the we couldn't, okay. we couldn't handle the IOPS. And I will tell you that if you talk to a, a very large company or some kind of hosting provider, um, the IOPS, they, they may not would have you know, blinked an eye at, but for a shop our size, it was a, it was a, a definite shift and a, a step up, and, and we couldn't support it, but we said this security application was so important to us, let's go uh, obtain some better infrastructure, and that worked great. Uh, we have a, an in-house application that we wrote that helps us optimize the bulk purchase of fuel and then the delivery of that fuel to our stores. And it was having some performance issues. So we put that on the Nimble and cleared it up. And, and once all the other application teams and developers heard about that, they were demanding that, that their stuff run on Nimble. So I think we made our first Nimble purchase about 18 months ago. And then our second Nimble purchase like five months after. Yeah. You know, just because it, it, it really 
caught fire. Yeah. And, and, and has it changed the attitude of your application? But obviously it did in that they, they wanted their stuff to run on, sure. on the, the Cadillac, as we used to say. I guess we don't yeah. say as much anymore, still like Cadillacs. Yeah. But um, as it, in terms of having that capacity, having that operational horsepower, well, how has yeah. it changed their way they come to work every day and the way they think about developing apps, new apps? Well, it, it really is cut down on the finger pointing. <laughs> so so when, there's a, when there's a bottleneck, it's, it's one less finger to, you know, to, to point. And uh, so, that, so that's, been, that's been helpful. I tell you um, another thing that will probably um, lead us to adopting more and more as we really push our developers towards continuous improvement in DevOps. And they say, you know, fine, that, that's great. But a, a trade-off is, hey, we want every environment to be identical to production, to cut down on variability. So, you know, we have test, dev, um, UAT environments running in, in, in the nimble environment just to, to, again, cut down on variability and make it easier for us to, to get to production. Yeah, I mean, one of the things we've heard for, from users is, you know, if performance is a challenge and yeah. I have to optimize and I need to tier, you know, that, that takes a lot of work and yes. the, the newer generations of solutions, they really just take performance off the table. Has exactly. that really been your experience? Yes, exactly. Yeah, said, said better than, <laughs> than I. I mean, it's, um, it's, again, it's one less uh, thing to point a finger at if, if there's a bottleneck. So, uh, you know, you, you not only you know, came to this event, you, you were up on stage. Uh, yes. can, can you talk a little bit about how InfoSight plays into your environment and yep. you know, the, the, the story of predictive analytics? How much does that resonate with you? Definitely, so we certainly look at, at the CapEx when we buy our infrastructure or buy anything. Um, but I can kind of rest assured that, hey, our requirements are, are growing. So maybe I can spend a little more CapEx because I know I'll, I'll grow into it. But what I, what I can't afford is to be wasteful on the OpEx. I can't afford to add additional headcount for every new piece of technology that I, that I bring in to our environment. So, you know, I've got to have something that works, that's easy to maintain, that I can, uh, we're a 24-7 business. We, we don't, uh, you know, our stores don't close for the evening. So we have very small maintenance windows. So I've got to be able to perform maintenance related activities, you know, during any time of the day without degradating service. And, and this is, uh, Nimble has provided that, that to us. I, I, one of our engineers talked about how we re-indexed one of our larger SQL databases midday. And that was something that previously prior to Nimble we would have done crossing our fingers at you know, two in the morning on a weekend. And so it's, it's, just, it's just brought a lot of efficiency to our team. Yeah, I, I guess some companies are worried about automation. It's, you know, yeah. if I have processes, I know I can handle it. Right. Uh, the nimble solution, uh, one of their taglines is, you know, automating the intelligence of the system. Yes. So, you know, what, what do you say to your peers out there that are, you know, looking at Nimble or other solutions like that? Uh, you know, again, it, it's, the, it's the ease of use for us. We, we just can't afford to carry 20 senior engineers on our staff. That's not feasible for us. So anything that we can automate, feel, feel good about, and, and know, predict, really predict the results. And going back to, to InfoSight, being able to quickly see maybe a potential bottleneck, because once the bottleneck happens, it's too late. You, you need to see it you know, way down the road before it actually hits. And that's the, that visibility that InfoSight gives us really brings a lot of value. It, it, it keeps us from getting ourselves in trouble. So last word to bring it back full circle. Sure. Your, your kind of uh, motivation was this security application. Yep. Um, to get, was, it, was it a success? Was it a good early win? Did, yes. it, did it work out as you anticipated? It was. It, it, was, it was very good. Um, you know, security has, um, when you say security to the board or anybody, they, they say, okay, you're right, we got to do it. Um, and, and so that was maybe easy for us playing the security card, although it was a legit play. Right, right. Um, but it, it, it proved to be so much more valuable than just helping us with this one security application. And so. yeah, as I was going to say, and had you not had that security app, where 
Yeah. Was you there know, another thing coming, do you think, to, to be the catalyst? Yeah, yeah the, this application that we were starting to see some performance issues with okay. probably would have, you know, driven a, a change. Um, it let us, you know, probably uh, um, make that change sooner to where the business wasn't affected. So it, it proved to be a, a, a very ideal time and, and very advantageous to, for us. Timing is everything. Yes. Will Alexander, thanks for stopping by the <laughs> Thank you. Really appreciate your insight. We love hearing from customers. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you and the safe travels home. He's Thank Stu you. Miniman. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. We are live at the Nimble Storage Predictive Flash launch event in downtown San Francisco. We'll be back with our next guest after this short break. Thanks for watching.